Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on crack concepts. So in this video, I will be discussing about sequel joints. I already have a couple of videos with regard to sequel joints on my channel. So I will make sure to link it in the description box. So do check it out. But in this video, I will be talking in depth about joints. So we will be discussing left inclusive joints, left exclusive, full auto inclusive, inner joint full outer exclusive right exclusive and right inclusive you all might have heard about this one the left inclusive one the right inclusive one the inner joint and the full outer inclusive one but this might be a little bit new for y'all so i will be discussing about these in this video so let's just quickly begin So now these are the two tables. So the first table is customers and the second table is orders. The first table customers has customer ID, customer name, contact number and country. Very basic columns. And the second table is orders, order ID, customer ID and date. So customer ID is the common column between the two tables. So I will be joining these two tables based on this column, customer ID. Uh, so as you know, joins is whenever we try to join two or more tables based on few com common columns so in this case our common column is customer id so that i will be using for joining now first i will uh, exp uh, i will show you all what is inner join and i will get done with it so inner join is the easiest one so inner join means whatever columns are common between the two select c dot customer id o dot order id c dot country so these are the columns that I want to show, I want to select and these are the two tables from customer C, join orders O on whatever column you want to join them on. So what is the column col common column between the two customer ID. So on C dot cust ID is equal to O dot cust ID. So these are the common columns and since I've just written join, it will just do inner join. Uh, had I written left join or right join, so then it would have done left join or right join accordingly. But here it's just inner join. So here what is going to happen is just the common columns, the common customer IDs between the two tables will be printed. So in this case, 101 is not over here. 102 is here. So 102 will be printed. And then 103 is also over here. So 103 will also be printed. 104 is not in the second table. So it will not be printed. And and it's done so only 102 and 103 will be printed so that is my output and cust order id and co country accordingly like the respective order id and country will be printed this is the output for inner join let's move on to left joints left inclusive join and left exclusive join left inclusive join means all the values all the records from the left table will be a part of our result along with that all the rows that are matching with our table number two table b will be the part of our result now left exclusive join means all the all the rows all the records from the table one that are not part of table 2 so all the records that are absent in the table 2 will be the part of our output now let's see an example so this is the same table customer table order table now left inclusive and left in exclusive we all have already seen left join which is very basic select c dot customer id o dot order id c dot country and i have added one more column over here o dot cust id i know we are, i have already selected c dot cust id but i want to select o dot cust id also so that i can explain you left exclusive join from customer c left join um, orders o very basic um, syntax so this when we write left join it will do left join on what is the column name c dot cast id and uh, o dot cast id now what will this do it will take all the values from the left table all the values from the left table but also the ones that match with the second table so what were the values that were matching 102 and 103 so 102 and 103 all the values from the table one will be part of output so if you see the output all the values from table one are part of 
the output 101 102 103 104 also but 102 and 103 since they were matching since uh, we found 102 and 103 even in the table 2 even in orders we have uh, other values also so we have the value for the column order id and cast id so this is going to be our output okay so as you can see for all those columns where we do not have a matching uh, customer id in table orders the value will be null so as you can see for 101 and 104 since 101 and 104 not in our table 2 in our table orders our columns will be null so order id and cast id will be null okay don't see this this is the output of left exclusive i should have written that left exclusive and and this is the output of left inclusive okay um now what is left exclusive join in left exclusive there is just one more condition over here the exact same query but after that i've written where o dot cust id is null so wherever see so this is this was the output this was the output this was the initial output but wherever o dot cust id is null those rows are going to be the output of this particular query the output is going to be this so where is o dot cust id null this and this so the output is 101 and 104 so 101 and 104 and whatever are the matching uh, values so your country usa and canada so this will be our output left exclusive means all the rows that are part of table 1 but are not part of table 2 so in this case 102 and 103 are part of table 2 so that will not be a part of our output for left exclusive join so only 101 and 104 will be our output and that is our output so this is what left inclusive and left left exclusive joins are similarly we can write queries for right inclusive and right exclusive joints. Now let's move on to right inclusive and right exclusive joints. Right inclusive join means all the records from the right table will be a part of the result. Along with that, all the matching records from table number one will also be a part of our result. Now, right exclusive means all the records from the table 2 that are absent from table number 1 will be the part of our result. See an example for right inclusive and right exclusive join. It's the exact same of left join, so I'm not going to go in detail. But it's the same query that I used for left inclusive and left exclusive join. The only difference is over here, I have written right join. So right join, so I'm joining from customer C, right join orders O on C dot cust ID, O dot cust ID. And in right exclusive, what I'm doing is where C dot cust ID is null. In left exclusive join, I had written where O dot cust ID is, is null. But in right exclusive, I will write, uh, I will, I will select the common column from the left table and I will, um, I will write it in the filter i will write it in the where clause and i will write it like this where c dot cast id is null now let's see the output for right inclusive right inclusive means all the values from the right table all the values from the right table will be a part of the result along with that whatever matches so in our case 102 and 103 matching so our output would be something like this or all the rec all the records from table 2 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and cast ID 102, 103, 105, 106, 107. So the exact same um, customer IDs that are there in orders, in our table orders. So 102, 103, 105, 106, 107. All those customer IDs will be, will be a part of the result set and whatever is matching. So 102 and 103 is matching from the left table. So that will be that will be printed in our output so 102 103 and country us and mexico now left exclusive means wherever cust id c dot cust id means cust id from the left table wherever it is null so where is where is it null these three which is 105 106 107 so 105 106 107 will be the output for right exclusive join so all the records all the records from the right table that are absent in the table number one customers will be a part of the result set.
Now full outer inclusive join is a combination of left join and right join. Full outer exclusive join is just the opposite of inner join as you can see from the diagram itself that they are exactly the opposite of each other. So full outer exclusive join means all the records that are not present in either of the two tables. What I mean by that is all the records from the table A that are not a part of B and all the records from table B which are not part of A. So anything that is matching between the two tables will be not a part of our result set. Let's check out an example on full outer inclusive and full outer exclusive joins. The same table, customers and orders and this will be our query. For full outer inclusive join, I will I will I'm using the same query, but over here I have written full outer join. So from customer C full outer join orders O on whatever the common column is. So on C dot cust ID is equal to O dot cust ID. For full outer exclusive join, the exact same thing, and then I have added a where clause where c dot cust id is null or c dot o dot cust id is null now let's check out the output for this now full outer inclusive join it will be a combination of left join and right join okay so all the values from the left table and all the values from the right table and whatever is matching will be will be the part of our report uh, of our result so all the customer IDs from table 1, so 101, 102, 103, 104. All the customer IDs from table 2, 102, 103, 105, 106, 107. This will be our output and whatever is matching, whatever order ID is matching from table number 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then whatever country is matching from table number 1, that will be written over and rest everything will be null. For full outer exclusive join, there is a where clause where customer ID, C dot customer ID or O dot customer ID is null. So wherever it's null, this, 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 this. So these five values will be our output. As you can see, 101, 104, 105, 106, 107. So all the records that are not matching between the two tables. Basically, everything other than 102 and 103. And if you remember in inner join, 102 and 103 came in the output. So, full outer exclusive join is exact opposite of inner join. All the records that are not matching will be the part of this result set. So this is full outer exclusive join. With this, we come to the end of the video. I hope you all found this video helpful and you all understand joins much better. Do check out rest of the videos in the playlist in the SQL interview series. And also, if you're someone who is a data analyst or wants to switch to that field, do check out the Tableau and Power BI playlist as well. Also, the Python playlist. That would be quite helpful to you all. I also have a playlist for Java. So, check, do check it out. And if you guys have any recommendations, any video suggestions, do write it in the comment section. I would be happy to make videos on that. And also... Do check out the SQL ebook. I have added all the tips and tricks and hacks for you all to track SQL interviews. Do check that out. Do check that ebook. I will make sure to add the link to that ebook in the description box as well. So do check out and I will see you guys in the next video.